back and we've got a great section of music coming up starting with Terry Carter. Hello everyone. When I first started Morris Dancing with Stafford Morris, every year we would go to Tideswell in Derbyshire to take part in the Tideswell Wakes. On the Saturday evening we would take part in the Tideswell Procession where the villagers danced through the streets uh, to music provided by the town band who played the Tideswell Processional, which is the tune I'm going to play for you now. It was a torchlight procession. In the band was a very enthusiastic bass drum player, hence the use of my large tabor. And as the villagers danced in a zigzag fashion through the streets, they would shout hoy on the second of the two loud drum notes. Feel free to join in with the hoys. I'm going to play you something from France. This hat might give you a clue to the title of the piece. It is called Le Basque and was written by the French composer Marin Ray. It comes from his suite of dances called Five Old French Dances, which was originally composed for the viola de gamba. I love that. And now from May Hill we have Julian Guest. I have recorded two of the Cantigas de Santa Maria, number 377 and number 9, and they're both ones which Terry has included in his book. In number 377, I mean they've both got unusual rhythms. In number 377 usually you'll hear one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And in number nine, it's similar but slightly different. You hear one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. I hope you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoy playing them.
and this is Cantica de Santa Maria number nine. And now from the USA, we have Elizabeth Christina. Hello, Piper friends, guests, enthusiasts. I'm Elizabeth Christina from Washington State. I'll be playing the Piper's tune, Soldier's Joy, from 18th century Scotland. And here in America, the colonies carried English and Scottish tunes far into our history, shaping them over time. During the Civil War, the tune became a song with text about wounded soldiers who in the evening looked forward to their pain relief medications, calling this their soldier's joy. Besides pipe and tabor, I'll be playing the mountain dulcimer created in Kentucky around 1875, just after our Civil War. The instrument moved from place to place across our Appalachian region, and many adapted British tunes helped to create this new folk genre. Here is Soldier's Joy.
was nice. And now from Japan, Sachi Yamaguchi. Hello everyone, I hope you are well. I'm happy to be able to participate and perform at this concert. Today, I'm going to perform Grazing Mask while singing Tomb of Bedram, known as the Broadside Ballad. I've been longing to play this tune since I met Pipe and Tabor three years ago. Please listen. To see the world again, to see if he can ease his distempered brain. Fear and cuddles this my soul. Hark how the angry fuel is a hole. Pluto laughs, Proserpina is glad to see poor Tom of a <laughs> Fabulous stuff. And we'll have a short break now and then we'll be back with some more super music. Yeah. 